uh, dear students. Uh, previously, we started uh, the step uh, how to sketch a region. That is what the concept we are going to see in this video. How to sketch a region. Uh, this is what we are going to see here uh, and listen. First of all, before uh, uh, going directly to the diagrams, uh, first we must know what is given. Okay? See, uh, modulus of Z minus A minus IB equal to R. It represents a circle. That is, whenever there is a modulus and inside that there is Z, together with that there is a complex constant and right hand side a number, a real number. It represents a circle with center A comma B. That is how I am writing this means. Uh, the real part here is minus A. So I am writing here it as A. That is negative of the real part as well as the imaginary part is minus B here. Therefore the negative of the imaginary part is B. This is how we should write out the center and the radius is simply the right hand side whatever number you are adding that is what the radius. Now modulus z minus 2 equal to 3. Again whenever there is a modulus it is a circle right. Uh, it is a circle with center. What is the center now again? What is the real part here apart from z? What is the real part here? minus 2. So, I am writing here it as 2. What is the imaginary part here? There is no imaginary part. Therefore, it will be 0. Therefore, the center will be 2 comma 0 and the radius will be 3. Now, the next one. Modulus z plus i equal to 5. Again, it represents a circle. Whatever modulus is there and z is there, it represents a circle the center again. Center is there is no real part here. Leave z. The remaining in the remaining quantities. Check the real part. There is no real part. Therefore x coordinate will be 0. And the imaginary part is plus 1. Therefore the y coordinate will be negative of that. Therefore minus 1. The radius will be the right hand side term. Whatever I am having we should write that as radius. Uh, look at this example modulus of z plus 2 minus 3i equal to 1 and it represents a circle the center is minus 2 comma 3 how the real part is 2 so its negative is minus 2 the imaginary part is minus 3 its negative is plus 3 and the radius is 1 whatever you are having it on the right hand side. So, before uh, drawing, before going for the diagrammatical representation, we must know what the given curve is. That is what very very important. Now, how we are representing in a diagram uh, a circle. Okay. Now, modulus z equal to 1. It is what a very very simpler problem uh, to deal with initially. Uh, for this first it is a circle so the shape is a circle no matter uh, uh, how we are drawing it doesn't matter for mathematics uh, the only the points we are plotting is what matters uh, that is what we need of course not the shape or uh, you must write it is a circle from what is the center there is no real part as well as imaginary part. Therefore, the center is 0, 0 and the radius is 1. Okay, This is hyphen, not minus. Radius is 1. Now, I am uh, marking out the center is 0, 0. So, before uh, drawing a circle, we should plot the points and then we should connect those points. Right? For that first I should plot the center. The center point is 0, 0. So, uh, radius is 1. Right? It's what given in the problem. Radius is 1. So, 
moving right and left the x value will change moving up and down the value of y changes uh, once again i am telling you when you are moving either right or left y does not change only x will change when you are moving to right x will increase when you are moving to left x will decrease y won't change at all when you are moving up y will increase when you are moving down y will decrease there will be no change on the value of x right that is on left and right only x changes y does not change in up and down only y changes x does not change keep this in mind initially now see this is 0 comma 0 is the center now towards right since the radius is 1 so this point will be 1 comma 0 that is 1 will be added why because it is moving towards the right side so x coordinate will increase by 1 now see the left what will be the left coordinate only 4 coordinates we need to plot a circle apart from center we need just 4 coordinates to plot a circle that is what enough uh, extreme right and left and up and down right on the left how you should plot again one unit one unit you have to subtract so zero minus one so minus one comma zero as i told you in left or right y won't change therefore the y coordinate is zero here so here also zero here also zero now i'll go to upper and down side in upside uh, y will be varying in a increasing manner and towards down y will decrease increasing or decreasing by 1 as the radius is 1 once after plotting those 4 points just connect those 4 points this is how you should draw a circle very simple it's, you people have uh, studied these things in graphs in 10th chapter itself anyway we are uh, refreshing it now uh, see this here for this the center is 2 comma minus 3 and the radius is 1 see I am plotting the center first initially I am plotting with the center when the radius is 1 the same logic towards right x will increase by 1 and towards left x will decrease by 1 x will increase by 1 on the right x will decrease by 1 on the left right so here plus 1 means 3 here minus 1 means 1 uh, consider on up upper direction y will increase by 1 increasing by 1 means minus 3 plus 1 gives you minus 2 towards down y will decrease by 1 so minus 3 minus 1 will become minus 4 that's it so you connect all those four points with this idea we are uh, just sketching these two uh, inputs as well as output we are sketching it see mod z equal to 3 when the center is 0 comma 0 the radius is 3 so i am using the same concepts again and again here the center is 0 comma 0 and the radius is 6 so i am getting the uh, circle like this no matter um, the size should be double of course the size will be double uh, no need to interpret it in the diagram when we are doing exams no need at all only thing uh, speaks here is what were the points and what is the center and what is the radius that is what we have to mention uh, no matter it should be the double the size of this circle right okay we will see more problems in the upcoming video thank you